Hello guys, it's Ademola from SPSSBoss.com. In this lecture, we're going to be looking at Spearman ranked order correlation. Just like the Pearson correlation, Spearman is used to investigate the direction and strength of relationship between two variables. The difference between Spearman and Pearson correlation is that Spearman is the non-parametric alternative of the Pearson correlation, which means if your data has violated the assumption of Pearson, then you will have to use the Spearman ranked order correlation. Some of the assumptions of Pearson that you can violate includes when your data is not normally distributed, if you have significant outlier, and one or both of your variables are ordinal, you're going to use Spearman instead of Pearson correlation. You have to note that Spearman correlation is not assumption free. Spearman correlation also has assumptions. One of the first assumptions of Spearman is that the two variables you're interested in correlating should either be measured on the ordinal level or a scale level. Ordinal data is data that has a meaningful rank. Your ordinal data can be the presence or absence of a particular characteristics. For example, it could be that whether a student graduated or not, there is a minimum rank between graduating and not graduating. And your scale variable can be income or age in years or weight or height in meters. Those are ratio data. The second assumption is the assumption of monotonicity. There must be a monotonic relationship between your two variables. So when one increases, the order increases as well. And when one decreases, the order decreases as well. Spearman does not assume that there's a linear relationship. It assumes a monotonic relationship. And when we look at the uh, Scatter plot now to investigate this assumption, you will see the difference between a monotonic and a linear relationship. For this lecture, we're going to be looking at this hypothesis. The happiness of the children is associated with the cost of gift. So we're looking at the association between happiness and gift to see if they are positively or negatively correlated or there is no relationship between them at all. Our hypothesis is that there will be an association between the two variables. And the null hypothesis is that there will be no association between the two variables. Before you do a Spearman correlation, first make sure that your data has indeed violated the assumption of Pearson. Now let's first check our data using the scatter plot. We go into graph, legacy dialog, and scatter plot. We're going to get the simple scatter plot we define. We put one of our variable in the y axis, the other in the x axis. There is no preference for y or x because Spearman correlation does not consider which one is dependent or independent variable. But in this case, we're going to put happiness level in the y axis, price of gift in the x axis. You click on OK and you investigate the relationship using the scatter plot. Right. As you can see, if we try to find out if there's a linear relationship, one of the assumptions of Pearson is that there should be a linear relationship. But as we can see here, there's no linear relationship. Let's draw the line of fit to see if there's a linear relationship. Here's the line of fit right there. And you can see it only goes through one of the points. As you can see here, we have violated one of the assumptions of Pearson correlation. There is no linear relationship as the line did not go through any of the points. But what you will see here is that as happiness level is increasing, this the cost of gift is also increasing and you can see that there's a monotonically increasing relationship between these two variable because there's a monotonic relationship we can use the Spearman correlation we also have to check if the variable is normally distributed or not and we can quickly check this using the shapiro wilkes test or the como groves madoff so go into analyze descriptive statistics and explore your data put in your two variables of interest select the plot click on normality plots with test and select histogram. Click on continue and then click on OK. Here's what we get from those tests. We can see that happiness level is indeed normally distributed, but price of gift is not normally distributed. Now we violated two assumptions of Pearson correlation. And the third one, let's check for outlier. Do we have outlier in any of the variables? We check the box plot for outlier. As you can see here, we have two outliers. And we may remove this outlier, but basically, we have violated the assumption of Pearson. We can go ahead and use the Spearman ranked order correlation. Our first assumption of Spearman ranked order correlation has been passed because we investigated the scatter plot and there's a monotonic relationship between our two variables. Now, the second assumption is that our two variables, happiness level and cost of gift, are both ordinal and scale. Happiness level is measured on a scale of 1 to 10, so it's a Likert scale, and price of gift is a scale data, it's a ratio data in SPSS. Now we are good to go to carry out the Spearman ranked order correlation in SPSS. To do that, you go into Analyze, Correlate, 
and bivariate. You put in your two variables of interest into the variables dialog box and instead of Pearson, you select Spearman correlation and then you click on OK. Now you can see that there is a positive significant relationship between our two variables, which means that as happiness level increases, price of gift increases as well. And as price of gift increases, happiness level increases. Now, the difference between Spearman correlation and Pearson correlation when it comes to analysis is that Spearman correlation is actually done on the ranks of your score. So SPSS carries out Pearson correlation on the rank of happiness and the rank of price. I'm going to show you how this works now. Let's get the rank of happiness and rank of price. Go to transform and rank your cases. Put in your two variables and click on OK. So we're going to get the rank of these two variables. Now we have the rank of happiness and the rank of price. Let's do a Pearson correlation for the rank to see if it's going to be the same result as the Spearman correlation done on the original happiness level and price of gift. We go again to analyze, correlate and bivariate. We remove these original variables and put in the rank variable. Now we're going to do a Pearson correlation on the rank variable. Click on OK. Now, as you can see, the, the first one we did, which is the Spearman correlation of happiness and the cost of gift is 0.991. And the Pearson correlation we did on the rank of those two variables is also 0.991. This just shows you that Spearman is done on the rank of the original variable. So it's basically a Pearson correlation done on rank, which explains the name Spearman ranked order correlation. Now let's look at the interpretation of the results. Let's just reduce this screen here and we're going to focus on our Spearman results from the SPSS output. Now, if we move this to the side, we see that the, so here we look at the strength of relationship and the direction. The direction is either positive or negative. As you can see here, this is positive. The relationship between happiness and cost of gift is positive and strong. So we can report that there is a positively strong relationship between happiness and cost of gift.